The Diacon WSD1 and WSD2 wind sensors incorporate both a wind vane and anemometer in a single unit. These are active devices with an internal circuit board that uh, transmits the data digitally by either one of two protocols, either Modbus over RS-45 or SDI-12. Even though they're active devices, they still operate at very low current, less than 2 milliamps average on Modbus when powered by 12 volts. The input can be powered with either 12 or 24 volts. This makes it compatible also with 24-volt powered programmable logic controllers, or PLCs. Some of the advantages of the Diacon wind sensor include the construction, which is anodized aluminum. We also incorporate uh, ceramic hybrid bearings. These are custom specified bearings to meet our needs with, uh, for low turning torque and longevity. The wind vane, instead of using a contact potentiometer like most wind sensors, uses a non-contact non sensor. So again, enhancing the uh, serviceability and, and useful life of the product. One of the advantages of the Diacon wind sensor is the ease in mounting. The mounting tube has been designed to fit over a, a three-quarter inch pipe. We have a, uh, a locking screw when just a plain pipe is used. Alternatively, when used with the Diacon mounting tubes on the, uh, the tripod, the spring-loaded pin will just lock and snap the wind sensor in place, providing very secure mounting structure. Alternatively, the uh, wind sensor can be mounted to a one-inch pipe by removing the locking screw, standard pipe fittings will fit over the base. The cable routing can be either run externally, such as we see here, or routed internally to provide a, a protected cable run. Routing the cable through the inside of the mounting tube allows for an elegant installation with a protected cable route. This is the uh, top of a Diacon tripod and the spring-loaded pins allow for the passing of the cable through the center of the mast and the quick-release push button. We just set that wind sensor on the top of the tripod and insulation is done. If we want to tighten the uh, the set screw, then that allows some additional stability. In addition to the unique mounting features of Diacon WSD 1 and 2, our field serviceability features to allow for easy infield repairs. The first is a simple screw on the top for the vane that uh, remove the screw and simply withdraw the vane and insert the new one. Same with the fin. The, uh, each of the anemometer cups and spokes can be removed, replaced with a, a simple set screw. The device can be re remain in the field and uh, be restored to service uh, very quickly. In order to test the ruggedness of our solution as well as the uh, life of the bearings, we've subjected our test units to some fairly serious abuse. Um, we've mounted these, or I've mounted these on my vehicle. You'll see videos on our website and YouTube channel that discuss some of the testing we've done. This one in, took on my uh, garage door. This has happened a couple of times. Uh, in this case, the, uh, the pipe was fully bent over and broken, the, mount, the mast, yet the anemometer still remains intact. Previous uh, instances, we've replaced the anemometer cups and the uh, unit's been fully serviceable. In fact, this one's been serviced, um, put back in service um, more than once after having such a collision.